and welcome to my video about measuring angles. I am a protractor and I'm here to tell you that us protractors are the best. Don't tell the rulers I said this, but we are way better. They just measure straight lines, boring, but we measure angles. Come on, I'll show you how. Here are the important steps to follow when measuring angles. Step one, place the protractor's center on the vertex and line up the line on the protractor. Step two, determine whether the reading is on the inside scale or the outside scale. And step three, read the measurement. Let's try some practice problems now. Angle N is shown on this protractor. What is the measure of angle N to the nearest degree? Well, step one, place the protractor center on the vertex and line up on the protractor. Check. Step two, Determine whether the reading is on the inside scale or the outside scale. Well, let's see. The ray is pointing to the right, and the scale that starts at the right is the outside scale. So that means I'm looking at the outside reading. And step three, read the measurement. Well, if I look at the outside reading, it's right in between 60 and 70, so that would mean it's 65. So our answer is 65 degrees. Let's try one that's pointing in the opposite direction. Angle P is shown on this protractor. What is the measure of angle P to the nearest degree? Step one, place the protractor center on the vertex and line up on the protractor. Check. Step two, determine whether the reading's on the inside scale or the outside scale. The ray is pointing to the left and the scale that starts at the left is the inside scale. So that means I'm looking at the inside reading. Step three, read the measurement. It's pointing right at 130 degrees. So our answer is 130 degrees. Okay, I think you're ready for a tricky one now. Angle Q is shown on this protractor. What is the measure of angle Q to the nearest degree? Since neither ray is lined up with either of the zeros on the protractor, we need to count the degrees between the two rays. If you look to the outside scale, I see that one ray is pointing to 120 degrees and one is pointing to 10 degrees. So we need to subtract to find the degrees between the two rays. 120 minus 10 equals 110. So my answer is 110 degrees. There are several different types of angles. Right angles are angles that measure exactly 90 degrees. Acute angles are angles that measure less than 90 degrees. One easy way to remember these smaller angles is that they're so cute. Get it? A cute angle? <laughs> Obtuse angles are angles that measure more than 90 degrees. And straight angles are angles that measure exactly 180 degrees, which are straight lines. Here are some examples. Let's see if we can tell if these angles are right, obtuse, acute, or straight. We know a 90 degree angle is like a perfect corner. So we can use that to compare all our other angles. For example, if we look at the first angle and overlap a right angle, we see that our angle is smaller than a right angle. That means its measurement is less than 90, which makes this an acute angle. Let's imagine a right angle over this next angle. Our angle is bigger than the right angle, so its measurement must be bigger, making it an obtuse angle. If you look at the next angle, it looks exactly like a right angle. It even has the symbol that lets us know this angle has a measurement of 90 degrees. So this must be a right angle. The last angle is a perfectly straight line. That means it's 180 degrees, which is a straight angle. Let's try this practice problem. We're looking for which angle is obtuse. Let's think about our right angle and line up one of the rays with one of the rays in each angle. The first angle is less than the 90 degree angle, so it's acute. The second angle is exactly 90 degrees, so that would be a right angle. And the last one is also a right angle, just rotated. That leaves us with this angle. It's larger than 90 degrees, so it must be an obtuse angle. All right, I hereby pronounce you part protractor. Take your handy dandy skills measuring angles and try some problems of your own now. Have fun.